We had a client come in a couple of years ago, and he was probably top three severe that I've seen in my life. And, and you know, when you work in the field and when you stutter, you're in, involved in a self-help community, you see a, a wide range of severity, both emotionally and physically. This guy had a lot of uncontrolled severity in both accounts, and uh, no real behavioral technique was going to really give him a lot of relief from the phenomenon. So uh, I tried delayed auditory feedback and frequency altered feedback on him and it worked really well. And I could see his enjoyment, his relief, you know, his hope. And I was, and I told him this is a, a fantastic little opportunity. It's a device that's not gonna cure you, but for around 5,000 bucks, your quality of life just in the daily struggle and your opportunities can jump from there to this there. But his mind checked off as soon as I heard the word five, or he heard the word $5,000. And so the, the cost of entry uh, became a passion of, of mine, is that relief from a pathology of, you know, uh, that's more or less uncurable shouldn't be left to those that have the available capital. So it came a passion of mine to begin to find alternate methods to reduce the suffering and to make them as cheaply or as um, widely av available as possible. So I went through any number of options, played with the auditory feedback route, uh, visual feedback route, and um, through a series of opening and closings of doors and windows, which I believe God is in complete control over, we uh, little handed just outside uh, having a, a Coke and a coffee with Dwight or Waddell where I just shared the fact that when I feel my own thyroid cartilage vibrate, that alone will reduce stuttering by at least 78%. And uh, for us, it was common sense. Of course it will, because we understand it from the same page. It's a neurological phenomenon. And so his obvious point is, well, why haven't you made a prosthetic out of it? And I thought, okay, you're right. And uh, through a series of uh, events, we got all connected and, and the process just came to be. It's always more fun when you're doing interdisciplinary work. I think people bring things from their own domain that sometimes other people don't think about or they don't recognize them as important as quickly as maybe the other person might. And this seemed to just come together pretty quickly. I'm one we all get along so well, we enjoy each other's company, but the need was so apparent and we kind of stumbled upon an idea um, coming out of some of the work that Greg had done in the past and it was really just surprisingly simple this time and um, maybe it's the reward for some of the hard work in the past that didn't come to fruition as quickly or if at all. It's exciting and it's very different from the sort of uh, research that I typically do. Um, I mean I teach this design class I do certainly know something about electronic design but it's not it's not what I really do for my most of my research and it's it's very interesting and to, to get away from my my normal research area and be able to do something that's different and involves a group of people and of course it's, it's always nice to do something that serves others the community here at Ole Miss is as collegial as I've ever seen it on a university c c campus and uh, the extended family has just been awesome uh, so it's been a lot of fun. It's been frustrating at times when we have ideas that don't go as easily as we want, but you know, that's just a part of the development process. Well, we're not curing anything. Um, <clears throat> we're trying to make somebody's life better. Um, the activity of daily living we'll talk about in movement disorders. And to me, that means a particular thing, usually meant walking around or the lack of the ability to walk around. But here it's communicate. And I think until you can't do it, maybe you underestimate how hard it is for some of these kids and adults as well and if we can just make their day a little bit less um, demanding then it's a pretty powerful thing that we're we're trying to do and i think we're on the way to doing it i'm telling you. yeah i know